Hello and welcome to the 10th edition of Manorites. I am Raghav Goyal. The headlines: Manorites prepare for last leg of academic journey 2018. Brother Peter Ryan, Superior General from Australia, visits St George's College. Speak make a presentation at SDC by India's Soul Flotters Sisters. Equinox Planetarium brings celestial experience to Manor House. Spectra 2018 organized by Creative Lab team. Manorites present Christmas program. SEC A team wins APJ Football Cup while staff team clinches Kiwi Cup trophy. Jyotish Kumar and Usman Waziri represent the CISCE board football team at SGFI event at Junjunu, Rajasthan. Kokhas party sends spirits of Kalan's house soaring. Preparations on to bid farewell to Zera 2018. And in our special feature today, we take you through the year of accomplishments. And I am Anish Vincent. The news in detail. Exam fever grips the Manorites as the third term draws to a close. The boys are devoting every possible minute to vigorous study, preparing for the final examination, starting November 26th. Superior General Brother Peter Ryan, Congregation Leader of the Order of Patrician Brothers, visited St George's College. His brief stay of approximately 10 days made it possible for the staff and students to interact with him freely. Brother Ryan was delighted to be at Manor House and witness a few programs that were held in his presence. Mukunda Rora caught up with brother to find out more about his impression of the place. We have a few clips for you. Good morning, brother. Good morning, Mr. How does it feel like to be at SGC and how has your stay here been so far? It has been a wonderful experience altogether to to be here. It's not my first visit. I first saw St George's campus in 1981 and uh, uh, a very major impression I've had is the enormous changes that have taken place physically uh, and all the buildings the facilities I was present for the inauguration of the swimming pool but so many other facilities have arrived since then one thing that hasn't changed though is the sense of community spirit in the college and that's the long lasting memory that i have from before and i take it away again renewed after this visit brother how do you feel that the indian education system is different from other education systems around the world i'm most familiar with the operations in my home state in australia that's uh, new south wales uh, and the uh, initial impression i have is that the indian education system as i understand it here is very rigorous uh, very high standard and in international comparisons india is uh, in the top rankings in my own uh, state the examination board is uh, very strong sets a high standard uh, there is much more emphasis on internal assessment that is moderated by the external exam uh, all the australian states are concerned that we are slipping in internationally and they're looking for ways to upgrade perhaps some of the answers lie here in india brother they say that you are an adventurous person so please narrate us an incident from your youth okay i grew up in an inner city suburb of sydney and so the opportunities for adventure there were quite limited except for uh, perhaps the railway tunnel that we explored but um, after i joined the brothers and while i was uh, a student at university 10 of us decided to canoe down the snowy river uh, and we uh, canoed through rapids we camped overnight we uh, caught trout in the streams and cooked uh, we had many spills in the whole the whole thing where the river ran too shallow we had to carry our canoes to the next adventure and that would be by far the most adventurous thing that i've tried brother they say that with great power comes great responsibility so what gives you the motivation to carry out your day to day responsibilities i think your uh, proverbial statement is quite correct with with power comes responsibility the motivation i have is to see the fruits of the works that the the brothers are involved in the collaboration with uh, all their colleagues in the various ministries in school and and other um, uh, scenes but to see the fruits of that work and because 
that's so uplifting and empowering, it motivates for the next day and the day after that. And here is the message Brother Ryan has left for the Manorites. Men of St. George's, Manorites all, I leave you with uh, these thoughts uh, for development of your character here at St. George's and for your life ahead. Be true to yourselves. Uh, integrity is a fundamental value uh, for our lives and it can be measured by the choices that we make for doing the right thing at all times, especially when nobody is watching. It's a true, true measure of courage and conviction. And for meeting all the challenges of life, develop faith, family and friendship. They will be the greatest supports that we can have to meet any challenges that may go ahead. Cultivate the brotherhood spirit that is here in St. George's. Uh, that is a, an immeasurable gift to one another and something that you can pass on uh, well beyond the gates of St. George's, particularly in your own family life uh, ahead and whatever career that you take up. Uh, God bless you all. Thank you. Speak McKay, the Society for Promotion of Indian Classical Music and Culture Amongst Youth presented a flute recital for the Manorites on the 14th of November 2018. Flautist sisters Shutismita and Devo Priya enthralled the audience with their mellifluous renditions. The two artists also answered questions from the students. Equinox Planetarium organized a three-day celestial experience with age-appropriate videos of the universe and space. Interspersed with interesting lectures, the presentations were met with an enthusiastic response from the student body. Hello my dear friends, I'm Christopher. Today we just went into a planetarium and it was so amazing, all the animation and stuff. That I got to know the difference between the rock planets, the dwarf planets and the gas planets. I thought that, what is this? Like, it's so amazing. I was thinking that I'm in a totally different planet. But then I saw all those planets, like air planets and all that. It was so amazing. It was very good and we came to know about most of the planets which we didn't know. Like taking example of Pluto, it was a drop planet and we could see what was inside it. But we could go, but animation was very good. We got to see a star called Ion, it's really amazing and we saw uh, all the gas planets, the rocky midgets and uh, the dwarf planets. It was like very amazing. The team at the creative lab put together an astounding presentation of life, creativity and passion at the annual digital art and craft exhibition. Talent ranging from short films, shadow art, fashion shows and video game presentations was witnessed. A group of students, mainly from the junior block, staged a Christmas presentation to usher in the cheer of the festival of hope, love and compassion with candles and carols. Heaven up above, he came to earth to save the world, God's greatest gift of all. Sing a merry song and we all sing along.
Everybody seems to be decorating this year. Everyone except oh yes. <coughs> Good evening, cops. Christmas is coming soon. Haven't you noticed? The quicker it comes, the quicker it can be over and done with. SGC entered the finals of APJ football tournament. Interestingly, both teams were pitted against Army Public School Derby. SGC A team won the tournament. In the Kiwi Cup, the staff team won the final, defeating Class 11. Jyotish Kumar and Usman Naziri were part of the CISCE board football team and played the SGFI football tournament held at Junjunu, Rajasthan. They reached the pre-quarterfinals of the tournament but were unable to go further. Manor House proudly acknowledges their efforts in creating history for being the first students to qualify to play at the SGFI Games. These students give all credit to Brother Tommy and the sports department at Manor House for believing in them. Manor House traditionally celebrates winning the Principal's Cup with the Cock House party. The victory of Cullen's House in this regard was duly celebrated with a short variety program followed by dinner. Alcon 2019, a class 11 is preparing to bid farewell to the seniors Zenith, ISC batch of 2018. Every year, the seniors are made to feel special on this day. The farewell has been slated for the 7th of December 2018. In our special feature today, we take you through the photo album of the year of accomplishment. How quickly time flies. We will be back next year with new faces, more updates and of course, the manner right spirit.
Christmas and Happy New Year.